Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the speed ramping effect in Fimura 11. So you know that uh, Fimura 11 was officially released a couple of days ago. And if you want to learn uh, all the new features of the software, I will put the, the link to, to my previous video at the corner of the, uh, of the screen. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Alright, so first thing first, we need to create a new project. And we can click this button to create a new project in Fimura 11. Okay, so just click on that. And for this example, I'm going to use the stock footage, uh, which is also a new feature in the program. We're going to click on this folder, stock media. And I'm going to select my downloaded folder. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use this one, a clip of a tiger, a beautiful tiger. So just uh, click this button to bring it to the timeline, okay? So now I have a tiger on the timeline. Let's play it. Very nice, right? So it is already a slow motion video. By the way, it's okay. We can use this clip to show you how to use the speed ramp effect. In order to use the speed ramp effect, you can just right click at the clip on the timeline and select the speed option here. And then you can select this button, speed ramp. And there is another way to open the speed ramp effect. Uh, by selecting the clip on the timeline and then you can click this button okay the speed button it is very easy right so and now you have some option for the speed for example if you want to use a, a normal speed effect you can click this button uniform speed or if you want to apply speed ramp effect you can click this button i'm going to click on speed ramping okay okay and now they will open a new window for you so this is a speed ramping effect windows uh, here you have some preset of the software and also your preset. If you create some speed ramp preset, you can save it uh, right here. Uh, if you want to select any any of these preset, you can just click at the preset right here, and it will apply the speed ramp automatically to your video here. Okay, for example, I can change it, and now you will see two timelines. Uh, firstly, is the speed ramp timeline, and this is your main timeline. And at this speed timeline, you can also zoom in or zoom out the speed timeline uh, with this button okay and all the keyframe here you have some keyframe here on the timeline you can adjust the, this speed keyframe uh, easily for example if you just move it up to here uh, meaning that you will speed up your clip or you can just uh, move it down here to uh, make a slow motion video it is very easy right here right and if you want to uh, delete this keyframe, you can click this button to delete the keyframe. For example, if I want to remove the keyframe, I need to select it on the, on the timeline and then I can click this button. Uh, it is very easy. Uh, added to that, if you want to add more speed point to, uh, to the timeline, you can click this button, this plus button. Okay, very easy, right? So you can click here and then adjust the keyframe here to speed up the video. Okay, and here's the speed ramp effect uh, with some built-in uh, preset. Uh, let's play the video. Yes, it's slow down and slow down here. Very nice, right? And there's some more button right here. For example, you can also add a, a free frame to your video here. Also, if you want to add a free frame at this position, for example, I want to add a free frame at this position, I can click this button to add a free frame. And now I can select the time, maybe five seconds or 10 seconds, uh, it's up to you, okay? And then I can click OK. So it will create a keyframe button here on the timeline and maybe you can move it around the timeline and move this, uh, the free frame position to where you want, okay? Uh, for example, here we can play and we have free frame for 10 seconds. Right. Here, here's a, uh, the free frame duration for 10 seconds. Okay, and if you want to remove this keyframe, uh, remove this free frame button, you can also click this button to remove it. Uh, it is very easy, right? Okay, so there are more buttons down here. For example, if you want to reset the speed ramping effect, you can click this button. And if you want to uh, create a special preset that you want to use uh, in your next project, you can just uh, create this one and then you can uh, select this button, save, save as custom. It will be saved right here. For example, I can click here and I can say speed number five or number six, number five. And then I'm going to click OK. 
it will save here and next time uh, if you want to apply the same speed ramping effect to other video clip uh, all you need to do is to select this one the speed number five for example this one okay nice right okay so that is about the speed ramping preset and if you want to customize your speed ramping effect uh, from the beginning you can select this button customize okay so it will add some some speed point to your video clip by the way you can add more uh, and more and more and more so you can add anything here for example at this position i want to speed it up 10 times and then i'm going to slow it down to 0.47 and then speed it up and slow it down and speed it up and then i'm going to slow it down to no more so that's easy right and let's play the video for example here okay so that is easy right and the last thing i want to mention in this tutorial is when you use the speed ramping effect you cannot use a uniform speed so meaning that you can cannot use two speed option at the same time uh, for example here we have a speed ramping effect and if we cl click ok and now if we want to use the uniform speed we can click this speed button and then change it to uniform speed uh, there will be a notification so click on that uh, uniform speed and now if i want to increase the speed of the video if i increase it uh, there will be a notification saying that uh, this this speed effect will override the speed ramping effect if you want to use it you can click yes or you can just click no uh, if i click yes it will override the speed ramping effect so there is no speed ramping effect anymore i just speed up the video okay all right so that is how to use the speed ramping effect in wondershare femora 11. i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to purchase the software, don't forget to use my special discount coupon code in the description. It will help you save your money. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.